Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Daily Market Update. Today is Monday, July 20th, just f almost 15 minutes past the hour, 9 o'clock in the morning. This is Chief Analyst Ryan Fox. And let's go over today's forecast uh, from Forex Factory. But there are some things we're also going to mention today as a result of some unprecedented moves. So it's going to be an interesting morning. Anyway. First off of the bat, we had German PPI month on month coming in at negative 0.1%. We also had current account for the euro coming in at $18 billion. That's less than forecast at $23.1 billion. Let's match our clocks here to make sure we're all in sync. We also had the Chinese yuan, new loans came in. That's, I see, more than almost $300 billion added to that compared to the forecast. And the previous was 901 billion, but this looks to be 1.3 trillion, it looks like around. So there's a, a huge, huge uh, a difference there from what it was before. We also have later on at 11 o'clock in the morning, German bubble monthly report is followed by in the afternoon, Canadian wholesale sales on month on month, and also tre Treasury Secretary of the US, tre US Treasury. Secretary Liu will be speaking in Washington, D.C. at the Better Markets event, and he's going to be speaking about financial reform. We also have visitor arrivals month on month for the Kiwi. Speaking of the Kiwi, it actually weakened significantly, and it's going to be good for the economy because it's going to drive in tourism So, because prices are low. Let's take a look at what happened recently with gold, though. Gold dropped to its lowest level in five years. It's trading at 11, 1115 an ounce. We see negative 1.6%. Uh, 1. That drop was very, very large, folks. So we're trading gold down until we see a change, perhaps in dollar value. So that is going to be influencing gold and trading today. We also had some interesting uh, you know, updates on the Iranian uh, uh, nuclear deal between P5 plus one and, and Iran. Pretty much there is a deal that has been tentatively struck between the P5 powers and Iran. Unfortunately, it's going to take not only the House uh, and the U.S. Senate uh, in to, to, to pass or, or even go against it to go with forward this deal. Uh, however, you know those chances are very, very small because the majority of the Senate and Congress are against the president on this one. Also, if let's say this does somehow go through, oil prices are actually going to increase slowly uh, before they're actually going to plummet because if Iran comes in with this deal, it's going to create a huge excess supply in oil, which will cause prices to drop. But unfortunately, they're going to make minor retracements slowly, slowly heading upstairs. So we can take oil going upstairs today, gold downstairs. Let's take a look at other assets while we're at it. Euro USD at 1.08. Looks like it was ba uh, range bounding between 1.14 and 1.088. We also see again gold at 11.14 and continuing to drop there. Uh, pound dollar 1.55 also dropping, but it was range bounding appears. Uh, WTI crew position one, that's our oil, that's 51.13. Dollar again 124.2. Dollar Canadian 1. Point two nine. So dollar assets seem to be in this favor today. Euro GBP also heading upstairs 0. 0.6965. Pound franc heading downstairs. Pound yen also beginning a downward descent, but 193.59. So overall today, dollar very strong. Euro gaining some strength as a result of uh, you know this new tentative deal with Greece and the, the details are being hammered out this week. However, gold and, and, and commodity assets, gold and, and oil are taking big, big hits as we progress through this week. Thanks for attending, folks. Have a good one and good luck with the trades. This is Chief Analyst Ryan Fox signing off here at Options XO on the Daily Market Update, July 20th, 2015.